Thanks all for coming. Um, my name is Sean. Uh, my name is Diego. This performance is called Acting and uh, it's around one hour long. And just before we start, we'd just like to explain a couple of things. Um, first, we'd Look! Like... What? Look over there. Who? Igor. Igor. <laughs> Look at the way we go. This is a race for what do we do? Well, we have to do something, we'll make it worse just standing here. Wait, why don't we start with the other sketch instead? What other sketch? I thought that one was going fine. <laughs> Wait, Tres, I'm ready to order. Yeah, what would you like to order, sir? We only have some of the things on the menu, not all of the things, only some of the things. Come on, make it more believable. <laughs> Um, I would like a New York steak and a glass of wine, please. I'm afraid we're out of steak, sir. I see. Then I will take... Igor! Oh, I don't know, I think we should walk because I didn't see him like this. Why we can't do that? Igor! Uh, it's nice to work today, isn't it? I know, we should do a little box sketch. I was totally into it! What a wonderful day! Miss Davis, how nice to see you amongst the flowers this fair afternoon. Colonel Charmy, the pleasure is all mine. It seems an age since we last met. I believe it was but yesterday. So recently? What are you carrying in that pretty little box? If I told you that, Colonel, you would not believe me. Asparagus soup. If there is no steak, I will take the asparagus soup. I'm afraid we're also out of asparagus soup, so we only have some of the things on the menu. Well, they think I know why the Igor sketch is not working. We just need someone to play Igor, otherwise it's not believable. What, well, just someone standing there? Yeah, we can just ask anyway, you know, they have to stand there and do nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we think maybe it would help if someone would mind playing Igor. Would, you, would anyone mind just standing there? It's a very simple part, you just have to stand here. It would, I think it would really help, help us. <laughs> anyone? You only have to stand here, it's not very complicated. Okay, great, thanks. <coughs> thanks. Yeah, yeah just, just stand there, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. Quiche then. If there are no asparagus soup, I take the quiche. That's the wrong sketch. Ah, mm -hmm. I thought we were going to finish this one first. No, we should do the Igor one. Igor's waiting now. <laughs> anyway, there's no quiche either. No quiche! <laughs> What's going on with your chef? That is what you Oh, what a wonderful day. You started it. Okay, fine. Look, it's Igor! Igor! What do we do? What do we do? I'm afraid that won't be possible, sir. Our chef is currently... <laughs> Very busy. Busy? Then why are there so few things available from the menu? I can't do this. Yeah? Let's go What do we do then? I don't know. What do we do? I was asking you the whole time. If I told you that, Colonel, you would not believe me. <laughs> and why do you think so? <laughs> why should I doubt your word? Be careful, Colonel. The gardener's boy is watching from yonder. <laughs> <laughs> that seems that I will not say a word to anyone. As they say, it's the quiet ones one must watch, and I hear he has quite a loose mouth. Oh, how I am by the gossip! He will tell the gardener, the gardener, the stable boy. The stable boy, the butler, the butler, the nanny. The nanny, the chef. Aha! 
That's why there's no bloody food. Your chef is gossiping all day. I can assure you, sir, our chef is currently doing everything in his power to provide you with the best possible eating experience. That's it. I can do it with you. Yeah, I think it's much better. What do you say? Is it confusing? Yeah. I think it's better. You think it's better? Yeah. Because otherwise the audience have to imagine, you know, and it helps them. Anyway, I think we should stop. Thanks for your help. That was good. I think it is better with Igor. I don't know, I don't, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. It looks like <laughs> Igor. I think we could, you know, I don't think it's just Igor. I think maybe we can still improve on that. Yeah. yeah. We're remembering most of our lines now. Yeah, it was not that bad. It was not that bad, but I don't know if, do you think everyone, everyone got it? It's quite confusing. I mean, the local people, I think they got it. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe you should just slow down or be more easy or something. Mm. Just a bit slower. A bit slower. <laughs> See if it becomes from the beginning. Thanks for coming. Um, my name is Shana. <laughs> my name is Diego. This performance is called Acting and it's around one hour long. Just before we start, maybe there's a couple of things we should explain. Um, first, <laughs> What do we do? What do we do? Maybe we should walk so we can see him. Wait, we can't do that. Yeah, that might be awkward. Shit. This is a race so awkward. What do we do? Just standing here, we have to. We're gonna have to do something. Wait, why don't we start with the other sketch instead? What other sketch? You know, I thought that one was going great. Wait, Ruth. I'm ready to order.
Well, you'd like to order, so <coughs> we only have some of the things on the menu, not all of the things, only some of the things. Make it more believable. Um, I would like a New Year's steak and a glass of wine, please. My favourite out of steak, sir. See. Si. Then I will take. I will take. Ego. Well, we can't do that. Hi, Igor. Um, that's what I do, is it? Let's do this box sketch. How nice to see you amongst the flowers in the afternoon. It seems an age since we Yeah. 
see what are recurring in that pretty little holes? If I told you that, Colonel, you would not believe me. Asparagus soup. If there is no steak, I will take the asparagus soup. I'm afraid there's no asparagus soup either, sir. We only have some of the things on the menu. Wait, I think I know why the Igor stage chef is not working. We just need someone to play Igor, otherwise it's not believable. Could be anyone. I mean, it's just need to stand there. They don't have to do anything, you know. Okay, maybe I'll just ask. Would 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 the, anyone mind? Just we just need someone to play equal. We just have to stand here. It's not complicated. We just have to stand here. But I think it would really maybe help. Um, I think it would really help make it more believable. You did such a great job last time, would you mind doing the same job again? It would be great, thank you. It was really perfect how you did it last time, but maybe this time you can just do it a little bit slower. <laughs> just here. Just here, thanks. Okay, let's go. Quiche, then. If there's no asparagus soup, I take the quiche. So, it's the wrong sketch. Oh. But I thought we were going to finish this one first. Wait, this is too fast. I thought we were going slow this time. Uh, it's you and Igor, we are doing it too fast. Oh, it's <laughs> great, I think. Can you just even more slow it down? <laughs> okay, let's go for the let's go for the eagle sketch. Eagle's eagle's waiting now anyway. Anyway, there's no quiche. There's no quiche either. Chef, let me see you think. What do you think? Do you think this is working? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Well, do they look like they're enjoying themselves? No, you know, yesterday it's obvious was a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, they were. Maybe getting the things faster or something or nothing. Why do we have to go slower? Is it slower or I don't know. Is there some I don't know if it's slower or faster, you know? Maybe it's the timing or you know, I'm not sure that's the problem. You know, I was watching one them when they came in and I was thinking that you know, we're using gender stereotypes a lot in these and I think maybe they're the kind of audience that you know don't really appreciate. Gen gender stereotypes? Yeah. I see. So, what do you think? Could be it. If I will, if, if you want, I can play your role. Yeah, okay. Could fix it. Should we try? Uh, you do all of 20. Oh, okay. 
That won't be possible. Uh, our chef is currently very busy. Busy? Busy? Then what does he... Um, yeah, why are there so few things available on the menu then? Um, I, can't. I can't do this with people looking at me. It's too confusing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, what do we do? I've been asking them the whole time. If I told you that, come on in. You won't believe me. I think I do that better than you, that line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure, are we? Uh, do they have any? Not ready. The kernel. Of if I told you that kernel, you would not believe me. ¿Y por qué no iría yo a creerle? ¿Por qué dudaría yo de sus palabras? ¿Por qué dudaría yo de sus palabras? Be careful, Colonel. The gardener's boy is watching from yonder. La farolera tropezó y en esa calle se cayó. Y al pasar por un cuartel se enamoró de un coronel. Bajen la bandera para que pase la farolera de la puerta del sol. Sube la escalera y enciende el farol. As they say, it's the quiet ones one must watch, and I hear he has quite a loose mouth. Vamos, Kiko, no te juntes con esta chusma. Chuma, chuma. He will tell the gardener, the gardener, the stable boy. Dos más dos son cuatro, cuatro y dos son seis, seis y dos son ocho, y ocho, dieciséis, ocho, veinticuatro, ocho, treinta y dos. Ani, maldita, me arrodillo en vos. The nanny, the chef. ¡Ajá! La luna vino en fragua con su polizón de nardos. El niño la mira, mira. El niño la está mirando. En el aire conmovido mueve la luna sus brazos y enseña, lúbrica y pura, su seno de duro estaño. ¡Huye, luna, luna! ¡Huye! I can assure you, sir, our chef is currently doing everything in his power to provide you with the best possible eating experience. I'll let you go. Yeah? It's bad. Is it confusing? Mm. It's confusing. It's confusing. I think it's better, but thank you for your help. We should stop. But I think we get better the more we got, you know, like we're working on it and it's improving. Yeah, it's think? improving, but I think, you know, if we were professionals, we would need to do all this. I mean, things would be more natural, you know? I don't know if it's about being professional, I think maybe it's more to do with being confident. You know, I, like I get very nervous when I have to be expressive on stage and I think maybe the audience, you know, they, they, they can sense that. So what, you, you, you are not nervous being expressed in real life? More on stage. Than... Yeah. I think maybe it's because, you know, I, you know, it's about delivering lines, you know, rather than speaking spontaneously. Mm. Like I have the feeling, you know, what I'm saying is disconnected to my feelings. Mm. So what, do you think if we, if we drop the script, would we, you would we feel more confident or not? Maybe, I don't know. I'll try. What do you mean? Well, I can improvise the line. You can you can just answer. You know, like whatever comes to mind, like spontaneously. Okay. Okay. Charlie Robinson Davis, the most famous mime artist in town. Yes, I am known well for my mime. <laughs> It's such a pleasure. It's, I, I saw you so many times performing this time. I was always kind of so impressed. 
can you maybe do something? I mean, I saw you so many times, like, I'm just bleeding out, I can't, I can't believe I'm just moving <coughs> in the street. Oh, nice, where did you see me? Oh, I saw you in the, in the horse bridge, I saw you uh, in the horse bridge and uh, outside the horse bridge also. <laughs> and, yeah, in all these places, you know. I even saw you one, one day in one school, you know, I, you were doing this performance for, for, for deaf kids, you know. And it was amazing because uh, it was in the newspaper and then they were saying that you had to learn all this sign, sign language, you know, just in order not to use it, you know, because you have to keep signing. So oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> 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 you do something for me, I, mean, I would really like to. You yeah. know, see something like this. But you've seen me so many times before. Yeah, but it's like, you know, I'm just, just here, like, so, so, so close, you know, like, you just take your money, take my money. Oh, no, 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 I don't no, like, I, I have enough money. You don't need to throw money at me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is even worse. I mean, it's even worse than when we follow lines, really. You have to, to let go a bit more and more. Yeah, you, yeah. Cool. you know, I think it's because I, you know, I'm not used to I'm not used to the audience. You know? Mm. You know, I'm not used to so many people looking at me, you know. Usually I'm either you know interacting with people or you know, I'm in a crowd where people are taking no notice of me. Yeah. So what do you like? Do you think if they weren't looking at you, you would feel more more confident, more natural? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could, maybe could you all just stop looking at Chapman for a second? Just just stop looking at her. You can close your eyes, look at each other, look at me. That's totally fine. Just stop looking at her for a while, okay? How's that? Yeah, down in the back, I'm still looking at you. <laughs> Quick, all just close your eyes. Just close your eyes for a second. Just quick, close your eyes. Just for a second. Yeah, I feel much more confident now. Yeah, now you look natural. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Sharon Robinson Davis, the most we can't famous. Do this. We can't do the whole show like this. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone, open your eyes. We could have made a great sketch. Anyway, how do, you, how do you do it? What? How, what? Yeah, how do you do you not get nervous? I never get nervous. How come? I know, I just don't get nervous. But you know, even if you get nervous, there are all these tricks you get used to, to, you know, to look relaxed. Tricks, but like what? Tricks like, like holding something, you know? like. Uh, an apple, a mobile phone. I mean, for some reason, if you hold something in your hand, you do, you feel you feel you know less nervous. Um, you could think of someone you love, you know. Like so, if things go wrong, or if you feel that you're making something ridiculous, then you can always relate that person. You know that they, they will always be there for you. You know, so you don't need to you don't need to, to worry because you know whatever happens, they will be there. You know, and um, then then oh, there are these this. this Body things like like self comforting, you know, like rubbing your neck, playing with your hair a bit, you know, even yawning, like all these things that just make you feel a bit more relaxed. What, you like yawning? Yeah, just yawning, you know, something, you know. Um, and then then there are these this gestures, body gestures that even if you if even if you don't feel relaxed, you know, like they make the other people, uh, you know, think that that you that you are totally confident in something, you know, like you, you got to. A bit more straight, yeah, okay, up, like, and then you walk, you know, with big steps, you know, so it's like you're an important person, you know? And um, then if you are interacting with someone, you can just, you can just uh, make comments, you know, about their clothes, like, just put them down, you know, a bit, just, just, just secure yourself a better, a better you know? And that helps. That, I mean, it's not so nice, but it really helps, you know? <laughs> because you make the other person feel like this, you understand? Uh, even if you are in a context, in a bigger context, like a festival, you know, like this festival, you know, then you can imagine, you know, you can imagine, uh, oh, yeah, art festivals, of course, you know, like, who cares, you know, so whatever you're doing in the festival, you know, like, you just take out the pressure from you, because you yeah, say, you know, yeah. you think, oh, well, yeah, this artist, you know, so whatever you do is, you know, it's fine, you know. Show me how you do it. 
Yeah. I'll take the next guy. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, even the way I should say, yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah sure. <laughs> Does anyone, does anyone, like, it might help Chan if, if anyone can come here, if, I mean, if you feel that you can look uh, just relaxed on stage, it's going to be quite helpful. I mean, you have to stress down here, do nothing. I mean, I know it's a bit difficult for English people to do that, but I guess. <laughs> anyone? Want to help? No one? Anyone? I see it with maybe. Oh, great. Maybe I can like this one. No. <laughs> so, what's your name? Tom. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> So how come you manage to look so natural? Oh, it's uh, really nice of you to say, actually. Uh, I've had to rehearse quite a lot. Oh, speaking in front of people? Uh, no, moving. Moving? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I had a, an accident when I was a teenager, oh. where the parts of my brain which control movement were um, really badly damaged um, for a long time. I wasn't able to walk or, or to move at all. Uh, as part of the rehabilitation process was about learning how well the muscles interact um, to produce movement in the body. Um, so I learned all the names of all the muscles in my body and the order in which they activate one another. And by memorizing all of this, eventually I was able to regain control of my body. Wow, that's really amazing. And, and how present in your consciousness, like in your thinking, is that now? Um, not as much as it used to be, um, but for doing like a normal action like walking, I still have to think about that. Mm. Even just to stand here, actually, I have to give quite a specific set of instructions and commands to my muscles so they all stay in the same place. And uh, it's sort of it's easier when I stay still, not it's less demanding. I'm sorry, you have to come all the way up here. No, no, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm used to uh, walking. Well, <laughs> you look very natural, doesn't he? Diego looks very natural, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if someone pushes you? Like, like oh, would you have to, to think more, you know, to, to keep balance and not fall? Yeah, yeah, that would be a like, much more complicated set of instructions I'd have to give to myself here. <laughs> no, no, you don't need to do that. No, no, that's not fun for me. He doesn't look that very long. <laughs> He doesn't even have to. Anyone else? Anyone else? Can you make a long enough for all those things? Great, thanks. Oh, can we please? Oh, I know. Blue dogs are on the table.
Hi, dog. <laughs> so, what do you say? Pretty natural, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing! How does he do it? Can you tell? Can you tell us how you do it? Wait, he's just so good, isn't he good? Yeah, no, look at his feet. Look at his feet. Yeah, I'm just getting it just by watching. Look, it's amazing. Yeah. He's overacting everything. Overacting? Could you turn it down a bit? Just turn it down. Yeah, much better. Much better. What if, what if you do something with it? I mean, sure you can learn something from him, you know? He also give us a chance to to see some of his skills in action. I mean, I would, that would be amazing. Uh, would you mind doing that? <laughs> wow, well, that would be great. Um, I'm writing the sketch that I've been working on something that involves two characters, and maybe maybe we could maybe we could do that one. Um, it's based on it's set on a bus, and and maybe you could be on the bus. It's quite simple. I mean, I know you'll get it. You're obviously such a professional, so we can probably just go from the beginning. You could be on the bus, and then I could come and join you, and, and we can just go from there. What do you say? Nothing. <laughs> well, okay, great. Sorry, yeah? Yeah. Ah, it might help Chan for this part uh, if she can hold something. Like, that. doesn't even have something like an object, an apple, a mobile phone, keys, a bottle, a Piece of plastic, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And I, maybe another thing is like, uh, yeah, that my helper is that if you all lower your, your expectations about this part, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. can you do that? Maybe a bit lower? <laughs> and lower? That's good. Okay. Do you mind if I sit here next to you? Um, oh, it's so good uh, to get the weight off my feet. My ankles are swollen like balloons. You know that feeling when it's so hot and your ankles are just swollen like big sausages? It's so good to, you know that feeling? It's so good to sit down. Thanks for making the space on the seat next to you for me. Um, oh, I haven't seen you. Here before um, you must be you must be not from around here. I remember the first time I came to this area. Oh, so beautiful and and the people were so nice, you know. But I was too shy then to speak to anyone. But then um, you know my 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 mum died around that time, and I just thought you know life's too just too short. And then now I imagine her with me wherever I go, and um, it's totally changed my life. Is your mum still alive? You look a bit uptight. Um, I've heard... Um, oh, the bus doesn't usually go this way. It's <laughs> um, 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 yeah, you do... Um, yeah, maybe you should... You seem a bit tense and a bit quiet. Maybe you should try going to counselling or something. And maybe you should get some new clothes. I've heard... Your, I mean, your coat doesn't do anything for you. Um, oh, this bus driver is crazy. Isn't he crazy, bus driver? Um, he's the worst bus driver around. It used to be Bill on the 10.21 on the Saturday morning. And um, uh, it was much better. But this guy, he never, he never lets me sit down before he stops driving. And he goes over all the bumps, you know. It's crazy on them. Bus. Ever since Trent bus has switched to Barton, it's just not been the same. We we are much too good for this bus company. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> well, can I tell you? I mean, you're a great performer, you know, but as an actress, I don't know. I mean, it was so obvious that you were using all these all these tricks, you know, and you cannot even use them in a natural way. I mean. If you're rubbing your neck, you have to do it just to feel, you know, comfortable. But if you're just looks so forced, you know what I mean? Like, 
You have to like go a bit more if you want to improve. Um, now, blue dog. Yeah, there. I know, I know, he's great. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like, no matter how relaxed I feel inside, it's my body that gets in the way. It's like an obstacle to myself. It's like I need some standing body or something so I can forget myself, you know? Standing body? What's a standing body? Like, like it's being John Malkovich, you mean? What's being John Malkovich? Thanks. Well, there's this movie, you know, being John Malkovich. It's about this guy. Oh, great, thanks. Um, it's called John Malkovich and uh, he, he, he's a hypnotizer and then he hypnotizes people to make them do whatever he wants and then at the end of the movie there's this other guy who hypnotizes him you know, to use the rest so no one knows who's the real hypnotist, you know? Yeah, maybe something like that it sounds yeah. great, right? Yeah, sure. um, I have an idea, maybe something like this. <laughs> oh. That, that, yeah. That's pretty that's pretty amazing. Do I look natural? <laughs> totally natural. I mean no no signs of self fashion is consciousful. You know? Everything feels more straightforward like this. The world, it feels more easy, like things make more sense. Suddenly I know what's good, what's evil, I know what my goal in life is, and all the possible obstacles. I even feel, when I speak like this to myself for a while, that a strange force slowly takes over me, and I crave to start singing all this instead of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very nice, Charlie. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. Are you Sean? Yes. You look more confident. Yeah, I told you. Amazing. So now we could now we can make any kind of sketch. Yeah, right. Amazing. Like you want to do the first sketch? Maybe you can do it better now? Yeah, maybe. L let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So, hello, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Sean. And my name is Diego. This performance is called Acting and it's around one hour long. We would like to explain a couple of the things before starting. Um, first Look! Thing. What? Look what's over there! Who? Igor! Wait, you know, I think it was definitely better having a volunteer Igor last time. Look, can we, can we just ask someone if they could be Igor again? <laughs> please, please, thank you. I mean, you have not have to do anything. You can just stand here, relax, and we will do all the rest of the Okay? Ego! <laughs> what are you doing? You're standing right where he can see you. No, I think it's best if, if you keep walking because we didn't see you. Well, you can't do that. Yeah, true. That would be awkward. Yeah. Shit. This is already so awkward. What do we do? Come on, you're making it worse just standing over there in the corner. We have to do something. Wait, why was having the other sketches there? I thought this was on the sketch. I thought this one was going right. Wait, Chris. I'm here to order. Yeah, what would you like to order, sir? We have some of the things on the menu. We don't have all of the things. We only have some of the things. <laughs> What are you doing? You have to stand here! Just come here! <laughs> I would like a New York steak and a glass of wine, please. I'm sorry, sir, we've run out of steaks. I see. Look, it's evil!
Lu kisi ko. Yeah, okay. Uh, we want to apologize because uh, this was meant to be a surprise and then uh, of course it's not a surprise anymore. Um, the idea was to make the eagle sketch in a more confident way with the puppets and then Shang would come out from behind the screen and have an argument with the puppet about uh, which version of the sketch was better, the first one or this one. So the, the human Shang, uh, the self-conscious Shang would say that her, her version was better because uh, she has some positive qualities in this, in this uh, shyness and the, 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 the puppet Shang would say uh, that her version was better because uh, it's more confident and so on. So um, anyway, we decided we would do it, we'll do it anyway, but uh, I mean, now you saw that there are two people, there's someone else playing, playing the puppet, so imagine, imagine you didn't see that. Imagine, when Sean is coming from behind the screen, imagine that it's a total surprise because you don't understand <laughs> how hard the puppet is still moving, you know? Like, so you may say to yourself, oh my god, it's alive, you know, or something like that. So, uh, yeah, so now Sean comes from behind the screen and just be totally surprised about this, okay? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm really not sure we should do this. Come on, Chan, let's do it! <laughs> Come on, Chan! Whatever, fine. Um, Alright, well, I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure that the sketch was better that second time. Really? No way! I thought it was much better! I don't know, I think maybe, you know, I, my, my nervousness or self-consciousness can bring, can be qualities that bring some things to performance, you know? And, and I guess I didn't realise that until I became you and those qualities were gone. But Sean, I put the audience at ease. I look relaxed. I never look like I know what I'm doing. And you, you don't even know where to put your hands. <laughs> yeah, and well, that might be true, but you know, I think maybe you know, I have something that you lack. You know, maybe I can be sensitive to a situation, to certain situations and ways you're fine. And, no, anyway, I'm not sure that the audience being relaxed is the most important thing, you know. Maybe, you know, maybe attention is, that if there's attention, it can be a good thing. You know? This is so stupid. It's great, I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, keep going! <laughs> <laughs> but all the audience, you know, they're imagining Peter behind the screen, working me, and then, you know, it's, it's totally fake to keep pretending. But Sean, they can imagine. The imagination holds no limits. If they want to believe I'm a real life magic talking puppet, then they will. Are you saying you really expect them to believe that we're somehow separate in some way? Depends what you mean by believe, Sean. But this is. I think we should stop. Peter, really, I think, is going to have to stop. No, Sean, no! <laughs> Yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name's Robert. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, I just wanted to apologise, really, because things haven't quite worked out as planned. But, you know, these things happen. 
That's okay. Um, this performance was actually written for Peter, right, Peter? <laughs> yeah, so, so Peter here's a good friend of mine. Um, he's studying art in London, but he has this problem uh, where he's very shy. Um, and he gets very nervous before speaking in front of a group of people. In fact, he can't speak in public without being sick, right, Peter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, um, well, last year Peter was telling me about this problem he has that he finds it very difficult to take part in social situations. And because of this, life moves very slowly for him because it takes so long for people to get to know him. And most people don't bother because it's such hard work. Um, and it was around this time that, uh, well, I was invited to, to do something here for Whitstable Whitstil Biennial, uh, Biennale, sorry, I should say. Uh, so I thought maybe I should uh, help him if I write something for him. Um, so he gets used to the situation, and he could be on stage without the audience seeing him. It, it might help him get used to it, like, um, like a first step towards being more confident in front of people. And then I started thinking about shyness, how shyness can put people at such a, a disadvantage in our society. And then I started to wonder why this was. Have you ever wondered about this? I started to imagine how things could be more interesting if people felt more curious about people like Peter. <laughs> what if there was no concept for shyness? Would we behave the same? What would we think of Self-conscious people If they did not have a name Would we perceive them as all homogenous? Would they appear diverse? Who knows the answer? Things might be nicer such a universe. What do you think? Am I right? Well, am I? Would I feel nervous if you acted awkward? Maybe I'd feel okay. Would I support you or keep my distance? Listen or run away Politicians 
ocean appear uncertain. Things might not be much worse. Who knows the answer? Things might be nicer in such a universe. Thank you, thanks for coming. Um, I, I don't usually do this, but the curators have asked me to do a, a short Q&A after the show. So, um, if you've got time to stick around and there's anything you want to ask, um, I'd be happy to take questions. So, um, yeah, just, just shout them out. We haven't got a roving mic, so... Um, any questions or comments at all? <laughs> Nobody? Do you use mascara? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's just a natural effect. I, I've been asked that before, but it's... Yeah, I mean, that's quite a personal question. I was thinking more of a question about performance, maybe. No? No? Yeah? Um, what's the story behind the curtains? That's a good question. Um, well, that's, that's something that I don't want to really reveal. And there's something I think that's, that's quite... Precious about your perception about what happened. And I don't know if I believe in traditional concepts of reality. And, and I, I don't know what's a lie and what's truth. Um, or if those things are, are, are even. If truth is truth. Do you know what I mean? So I don't really. Um, I, I don't know if that's relevant, really. But, but thank you. It's a very interesting question. It's something that I'd like um, maybe you guys to to think about when you've left the space. Really. <laughs> Who are you? We can see you go behind the screen. Yeah. Well, I, well, I've been here the whole time, but I don't, I don't want to give too much away, you know. Talking about it, so... Uh, well, no, it's, it's, it's a valid question. Just, you know, a magician never reveals his tricks <laughs> and all that. <laughs> any, any, any other questions at all? Do you comb your eyebrows? Do, do I comb them? Um, well, uh, it's, uh, it's hard without fingers, but I mean, that's, that's, quite a, that's quite a personal question. I was wondering, if maybe there's more, uh, the question's more about performance itself, really. <laughs> Just, what, what's oh, your influences, or who are your influences? Oh, um, influences, <laughs> oh. oh, so when someone asks you, you just go blank, don't you? Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, Samuel Beckett, um, Dennis Potter, Goddard, um, you know, just the usual ones, really. But really, uh, my biggest influence is, is daily life, really. Um, nature, uh, winter, the frost on a child's eyelashes, the um, stripe of sunlight across a woman's chest, the uh, blades of grass rustling. On an autumnal morning, um, the whistle, the, the postman's whistle, um, shadows, shadows in the night, death, um, decay, um, birth, all that, all, you know, all those things really. It's a, it's a bit of a cliche, I know, but, but there's, there's some truth in that, I think. Yeah, that's a nice question, thank you. And, anything else at all? Where's Igor fit all this? Igor, Igor's in, well, he's endemic. Uh, He's everywhere. Igor is uh, a tenement of this, this performance, really. I, I think. Could you? Did, how, what did you think about Igor? What, what did you think Igor's Igor signified? Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. Well, possibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sort of. Mm, um, he's. Well, something, something about how um, we, 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 get, we get these ideas uh, from society about how to um, overcome certain things like shyness and awkwardness and be more confident 
And I suppose Igor is just putting forward an idea that uh, maybe that's all rubbish and that these things aren't so easy to get over at all and that they should be accepted, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess we all know someone like Igor, don't we, that we try to avoid because they're just a bit uh, of a bummer, a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. Do you use suntan? Do I use, sorry, suntan? Because of your skin. Oh, well, I do have sensitive skin, it's true. Um, not on a day like today. I, I don't like using it, to be honest. It's a bit like, um, it's a bit like mayonnaise or something, isn't it? Like putting mayonnaise on your skin with sun creams. Some, it's kind of unpleasant. Just on, just on a very personal sort of tactile level, it's, uh, it's sort of repulsive. So I just try to keep under a hat. But that, again, that's a very personal question. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, anything else related to the performance at all? Have we got time for a couple more? Uh, Jeremy Miller was just talking about, um, about a filmmaker called Darren. And, um, My Darren? Yeah, and, um, not Darren Brown. And, <laughs> um, and I was, uh, and she had a, 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 a D, not a depopularization, but she had a, she had a fantasy, sorry? Depersonalisation, and I was wondering then, and now again because you mentioned Rex, I was wondering about wondering about the the Fremdung's effect. The, the sorry, could you run that? The, the what effect? Sorry. It's an alienation effect, <laughs> very well known by Brecht. Oh right, okay. Well, it's been very, it's been a long time since university, you know. <laughs> I, I'd love to answer that one, but actually, I'm getting um, a, a message in my earpiece here that actually the uh, the yoga class is uh, it's got to come in in a minute to set up. So um, I, I think we'd better leave it there, really. Um, thank you all again for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Um, good luck, God bless. Thank you.